Hi, I'm LP Master 6 Last time on Pokemon Yellow, we destroyed Team Rocket in Sylph Co, which was a beautiful feeling, and rescued all the Sylph workers that actually wanted to be rescued, that didn't defect to Team Rocket in raising questions about Sylph's working conditions, but we got the Master Ball, which can catch any Pokemon, and we also beat up Sabrina in the Saffron Gym and got the Marsh Badge, so we have six badges and a ball that can catch anything. We are doing rather well at the moment, and we are finally going out on the open seas. We are on Route C Route 19. My bad. I almost just said Route 19, and that would have been plain false. Have to warm up before my swim. Amen. All warmed up. Thanks, kid. I'm ready for a swim. You're welcome, buddy. The trainers around here are going to be kind of pathetic because, you know, we just destroyed a ton of trainers in Sylphco. Uh, we're already off to a great start with the not being able to talk at all. all right, we're going to put David in the lead because he is the only one that is not level 40. Wait, you'll have a heart attack! Ooh, that's the chili! Watch out for Tentacool! I thought you were going to continue your heart attack thing, but okay. See Route 19, Fuchsia City to Seafoam Islands. Beautiful. This house was not in red, green, or blue. Let's go inside. It's the beach house. Dogs and burgers on special today. And it's another Pikachu who's walking in my way. Uh, nice table here. It's some sort of a machine. Looks like a printer. Maybe that's Game Boy printer connectivity. The sea unites all in serfdom. Summer Beach House, Pokemon welcome. 30 years of waves, surfing dude. This is possibly and probably a reference to the episode The Pea Kahuna. Where uh, a surfer guy has a Pikachu and they want to surf... What is it? The Humunga Dunga. A massive wave that only comes like once every 20 years or something. It's a decent episode. But it takes place one episode before the first movie. So every time I watch it I'm just thinking about how the movie comes afterward. But... There is something special with that that we won't be able to see until we play an entirely different game in the franchise. So, we'll be coming back to that way later. I look at the sea to forget! Oh god! Ooh! Traumatic! <laughs> I'm looking at the sea to forget. I want to get away from this guy. Actually, I completely forgot. We have a new Pokemon to catch with the Super Rod. And I forgot to put Pikachu in the lead. I never know how to transition these scenes. It always looks really awkward, no matter what I do. But I'm going to try to fix that. Hey, third time's the charm. Here we go. The hooked Tentacruel attacked. I choose Tentacruel. That's from the album Pokemon Christmas Bash. Uh, I would sing the full song because I can. I have much of that album memorized, but I'm not going to. What should we try to hurt this thing with? I guess we'll use David? But this is obviously the evolution of Tentacool. Uh, which we haven't even seen yet. And we get to catch one for ourselves right here. I have no idea. Uh, should we try double? I'm scared that'll kill it. Earthquake's too powerful. Double Edge is probably too powerful. Is Rock good against poison? Why do I not know that? Let's try it. Oh. <laughs> well, that was a waste of a turn. Okay. Shouldn't kill it. Perfect! Wait, I never went back and bought Ultra Balls. That's not fun. Oh well... We have 11. You're fucking kidding me! 
I'll be back. Back to where we were. Oh, perfect. That was beautiful. Whew. That didn't take too long to find one either. The jellyfish Pokemon. 5-3. Its 80 tentacles can stretch and contract. <laughs> That's not how I should have said that at all. Freely. They wrap around prey and weaken it with poison. Uh, sure, we'll name you a cruel tent. <laughs> Worst naming convention ever. I, I mean, I don't know, it might be better than Pooboid or Fart. My wife wanted me to mention that we do nickname our cats Poopoid and Fart. Brian and Penelope are Fart and Poopas, respectively. Poopas has over 50 nicknames that we've given her. We have counted. Actually, what am I doing? We need to put David back in the lead. I want him to get some good experience here. There is nothing on this route except trainers. And if we can see some, there it is. Plenty of tentacle. Nothing but tentacool can show up while surfing. Not even tentacruel. So, we're gonna be a little sick of them after a while. I love swimming! What about you? I want to use this opportunity to mention, I always thought that Swimmer Sprite looked like a baby. It looks like a pacifier in his mouth with a little, not a bonnet, but a, another baby hat. I don't know how to describe it. I know it's just a swimmer's cap and that's his hand because he's swimming. But now you can't unsee it, I hope. Belly flop! I can beat Pokemon at swimming. You probably cannot beat Lapras, dude. Where? Okay. Oh, is that? That's just the trainer at the top. Good. This route isn't as wide as I thought it was. Hello? What's beyond the horizon? <laughs> what is wrong with these swimmers? Glub! Glub! I see a couple of islands. Ooh, good, because surfing, this is fun. There's not too much of this in the game, but it gets to be a little monotonous and you're destroying these guys. If you have, I mean, you have Pikachu on your team, so you're gonna destroy everybody in one hit. And I always have a grass starter when I play Pokemon, so water routes are nothing. <laughs> I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. These guys have some great tags. You have to fish for sea Pokemon. Thank you for telling me there's no dive mechanic in the game. So if anybody thought there was a secret dive mechanic, there isn't. He cleared it up for you. Swimming's great. Sunburns aren't. <laughs> this was a beauty. That's why her text wasn't as good. My boyfriend wanted to swim to sea foam islands. Well... I always thought it was weird that the female swimmers are all just beauties. I thought that was a little sexist. A little... What's the word? Not objectifying. But just the, the idea that all of these men programming the game just really wanted babes in swimsuits. Why couldn't they just be called swimmers or something? What am I doing? Uh, You know what? We'll see how Pokey does against all the water Pokemon. I don't want him to start falling behind just because there's a bunch of water. I swam here, but I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Lapras is so big, it must keep you dry on water. I'd like to think they put that text there just because they really want you to use Lapras. Oh, I just love your ride. Can I have it if I win? <laughs> but Pokey... Oh! I lost! It's still a long way to go to Seafoam Island. Thank you. And I just realized when I went back and changed the box, I still didn't buy Ultra Balls. And we'll be needing a good few of them. That might have actually been every trainer on Route 19, but I want to make a quick check. 
Aha, uh -huh. okay, this is the edge of Route 19 right here. So I'm gonna double back and see if we missed any trainers because we may have, I believe there are eight in the water. And, you know, we got half of them right there. All right, well, I checked for trainers. We have fought every trainer on Route 19. Nice and quick and easy route. So next time I'll see you for Route 20 and in between videos, I know we didn't really do anything in this video, but next time, trust me, there will be plenty of content. This is another one of those where nothing happens, but I make a little bit of progress. Uh, before we go though, I want to mention one fact I keep forgetting to mention about fishing. I said that every rod has a 50% chance of landing something anytime you use it, but the old rod will always land a Magikarp. It will never say not even a nibble. I found that out a couple days ago. I'm LP Master 6. Goodbye.